Hello. Today we will be learning about how to subtract mixed numbers with regrouping. Our learning target for today is I can subtract mixed numbers with regrouping. So to review, when we are subtracting fractions, we are finding the difference between these two spaces. So in our model, we have 10 pieces in our whole, which is represented by our denominator. We have six pieces shaded in. I take two of those away, and that's shown with the x's, and I have four out of 10 left. So 6 tenths minus 2 tenths is 4 tenths. Or the denominator has stayed the same, and 6 minus 2 is 4. We also went over how to subtract mixed numbers. When subtracting mixed numbers, we can use a model. So in our model, we can show that 4 and 3 fifths are our whole, so we have 4 wholes and 3 out of 5, and I'm taking away or I'm canceling out 2 and 2 fifths. So when we're subtracting 2 and 2 fifths, we can use as x's to cross them out. So I'm going to start by taking away the fraction part, so 2 fifths. I'm going to cross off 2 fifths, and then I'm going to cross off, so when I have 2 fifths, I have 1 fifth left. And then when I subtract the holes, I'm going to cross out two holes, so one, two, and I have two holes left. So my answer for the difference between four and three fifths minus two and two fifths is two holes and one fifth. If we show this with the algorithm or in written form, we start by lining them up vertically or stacking the numbers. I line up the fraction parts and I line up the whole numbers. Three fifths minus two fifths. I know that the denominator stays the same. Three minus two is one fifth. And then the holes, four minus two is two holes. So my answer, my difference is two and one fifth. So sometimes our subtraction problems are a little bit harder. And today we are going to focus on these kind of examples, that when we go to subtract them, we realize that the number that we are subtracting by has more in the fraction part than, than our, our starting number. So when we try to take it away, we can't. That, so we're going to have to borrow. So when we look at this, we start the same way. We can start by lining it up vertically. But then when I try to do 3 minus 4, I'm like, uh-oh, I can't. I can't subtract 4 from 3. I only have 3. I can't take away 4. Or if I look at my model and I go to cross off 4 fifths, so I cross off 1 fifth, I cross off 2 fifths, I cross off 3 fifths, oh no, I don't know what to do. I don't have another fifth to cross off. So if you're using a model, you can treat. You can treat a whole and make it into fifths. You can cut it into your denominator. So my denominator is fifths, so I cut it into fifths. And then I can just cross one off. And now I took away my four fifths. And then I could cross off two. And I would see that I have one whole left, and I have one, two, three, four. So my answer would be one and four fifths. This is called regrouping. So when we traded in the whole and made it into fractions, we regrouped our number. We can also do this in written form. So if we started with our four and three fifths, when I went to go and trade the whole into five fifths, we do that by crossing off our whole number. So we're crossing off our whole number and we're taking one away from it. So when I take one away from four, it becomes three. I then take that borrowed one whole and I rewrite it as a fraction. So the one that I borrowed from four is now written as five fifths. So we have three holes, one hole, two holes, three holes, and here's my fourth hole but written as five fifths here. Okay. Now we are going to take our fraction parts and we're going to add them together. So three fifths plus five fifths is eight fifths, and I'm going to move my whole three over. After I move my whole number over, I have my regroup number. I have three holes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fifths. So this is showing you that you have four and three fifths regrouped or renamed as three and eight fifths. 
Now I'm just going to drag over. I'm going to move over. I'm going to rewrite my two and four fifths right underneath it. And I'm going to subtract eight fifths minus four fifths is four fifths. And three minus two is one. So our whole here would be one and four fifths. Let's look at another example. So in this example, we are finding the difference between 5 and 2 eighths and 1 and 4 eighths. So again, to start, we start by lining them up vertically. We make sure that all the fractions are lined up and all the whole numbers are lined up. When I look, I see my bottom fraction is bigger than my top fraction. That means I'm going to have to borrow again. So I cross off the 5, and I'm going to borrow 1 from it. So the 5 becomes a 4. And I'm going to regroup and write that 1 that I borrowed as a fraction. My denominator here is 8, so 1 as a whole would be 8 over 8. I'm going to add my fractions together. 2 eighths plus 8 eighths equals 10 over 8. And I'm going to move my whole number back over so it's next to it. I also want to move over my 1 and 4 eighths. So now I have my new regrouped problem. 10 eighths minus 4 eighths would be 6 eighths. 4 minus 1 is 3. So again, you always start by subtracting your fractions first, and then you go to your whole numbers. So to summarize, today we learned how to subtract mixed numbers by regrouping. There are three main steps. Our first step is that we borrowed one from the whole number. We rewrote that one as a whole number, as a fraction equivalent to one. And then we added it to our fractional part. Then we sub subtracted our new regrouped numbers. So tomorrow when you come in, please look at the, this anchor part for the borrowing method to help you. Thanks. Have a good day.